something that from like a shelf appeal, it's just like so good. I don't know if, I, don't know if I, an iron of its kind sits as well, as clean on the shelf as yeah, that yeah, does. Yeah, good point. I, I just think it's a, they've absolutely smashed it. And it, and it performs, it yeah. really does perform. Let's see how it stacks up against the others. All right, guys, welcome back. So today we're going to dive into six irons that we believe probably cover the widest range of golfers that we yeah. see coming into mm -hmm. any of our stores. If we were to pick a specific iron that we could say would, would sort of cover the widest part of the bell curve. Definitely, right? definitely, yep. This is, uh, I mean, the test for this, I think all our viewers will take something out of it, even yeah. if the good, the better ball strikers. One hundred percent. I hope our fitters are watching. Um, there's, uh, there's no ties to any one of these brands, but no. you know, a couple of our props that we're going to be testing. I mean, this has probably Incredible. been number one for us in this mm -hmm. category. Um, T three fifty, obviously new to market. Beauty. So, um, you know, Strixon, Mizuno, PXG, TaylorMade. Everyone's making really good stuff. Yep, and, and these are all around a similar kind of start and love, Mikey, <clears throat> give or take, sort of one degree. Yep. Um, so we bent them all to exactly the same uh, loft at 27, exactly the same lie at one degree upright for me, which is 63. We're going to use the same shaft that I use in my gamers, and we're going to do some kind of comparison testing just to mm -hmm. see kind of what are the subtleties, right? When you guys are going for iron fits, and you're thinking, okay, I'm thinking ZX S5. I've heard they're great, but I've also heard P790s are, you know, Hall of Fame good. Let's see it. Yeah, yeah. Head to let's head. see what they do. Okay. Okay. What one do we start with? Start with T350. Okay. Okay, Fraz. T350 is the first iron we're starting with. Mm -hmm. um, we're on the 12th hole at Wentworth. Yeah, we just done a, a driver video and a really good 512 yards off that back tee. So. I think the best drive I hit was about 320 in that mm -hmm. video, so yeah. we wouldn't be far off here. Yeah, gives so you 190-ish in. Ish. Yeah. So we've got about that, which is about kind of roughly what I would expect to hit these kind of irons. Right. You know, give or take something around that 190-ish. Perfect. Okay, Mikey, 350. Yeah. Big improvement, huge upgrade. Sounds better. Uh, visually this year from Titleist, I think an iron now that definitely uh, a lot of people I don't know, this is kind of in that game improvement, almost in that game improvement sort of realm. It's not it's not a big game improvement iron. It's, yep, they still have T400. Yeah, they do. They, they have something on the bigger offering. I, I think this is pretty good though. Yeah. I really do. Okay, let's hit a couple. I know probably in every video we do, we I stand back here or you stand back here and go, sounds great. Yeah. That's you go, good it feels though. great. But when we were down in, uh, Titleist in June and we all hit, you know, T200 and we hit T350 and the new driving irons. They do have this little plastic backing. These irons do sound good. They don't sound clunky. They don't yeah. sound harsh or anything like that. The one thing, and I don't know, again, you, you never know what something looks like. You just know how something feels if you're, you know, you're doing it. But to me, that's about as effortless as an iron can be yeah. for me to go in that 126 you know, 90 mile an hour, like this thing is just, it's just easy distance. Yeah, yeah. Which is, which cool. is really, really nice. Really good. Be tight. And for 190, I mean, it looks like you're just hitting pitch shots over there. They feel like just like pretty comfortable, pretty easy little chippy ones. You know, for people who get concerned about these new irons being, you know, super jumpy, super, like this isn't, and Titleist talked a lot about engineering yeah. sort of the center of gravity and how they've made these irons. Like 5,500 spin on an iron like this is excellent. 110 feet in the air. It's and really good. Yeah, really good. Okay, can I give you one more? Pretty good. Mm hmm. 91.8. And the winner is next guy, 0311P PXG iron. Um, you know, probably their, well, this was the original iron that they came out with yep. to start. Um, it's seen a lot of upgrades and stuff like that. You played the 0317CB. Mm -hmm. um, I had a set of uh, 
T's as well yeah. in the Gen 5s. Yeah. This to me is better looking than the 350s. Okay. I think, you know, the, you get that really smart angled top line on yeah, the yeah. PXG, which gives you the appearance of a thin line. Mm -hmm. uh, it's quite long toe to heel, so it does look very forgiving. I, I think as far as a head design goes for an iron of this design, uh, I think this ticks a lot of boxes. Okay, good sign. Yep. Slightly different sound. Yeah, a little, little softer, a little more subtle in its sound. Kind of like the first one with the tight list. Yeah. Nicely hit. Just leak to the back right of the, the green. Maybe I argue maybe the distance comes out this one even easier. Interesting. Okay. I mean, that's kind of fanned a bit open. Yeah. 128. I suppose the club head speeds went up a little bit. Yeah, your spin, spin and uh, and launch and, and you know peak height they're very similar to T350, mm -hmm. and I think that's what I really hope at the end of the day when we match specs and all these irons, we are going to see so much similarity mm -hmm. between what everyone offers. It will be very subtle and nuanced what the differences yeah. are. It yeah. won't be massive. Good strike. This a little bit more workable than T350. I think so. I noticed the spin, there's a, quite a big spin difference between them. Yeah, yeah. Like that when I flushed it, it was, you know, one millimeter low, two millimeters of toe. Did not expect launch and spin to come down. Yeah, it's that definitely much. dropped. It's nice though, Mikey boy. Yeah, it sounds really good. Does, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay. Next up, Mikey boy. JPX 923 Hot Metal Pro. Uh, popular one for us, uh, oh, Mizuno Hot Metal Pro is always a hot, popular iron out of the drawers for us. It's yep. quick, it looks good, and it's fairly easy to bend, which is nice. Yeah, definitely some of the challenges when you get into these these kind of hot cavity backs is they, they get really, really firm. With this nickel cremoli that they use, it's still very easily yeah, bendable. Yeah. Yeah. No, no issues at all. Okay, let's see what we've got. So far, what's your... What's your thinking between those first few? That PXG is uh, quite nice. Gonna be tough to beat. Got that wee behind the blade. Tell you what, that done great for what was a bit of a clunker. Skinny. Eh, no, it's heavy. Oh, heavy, yeah, yeah. What a sound that is. So good. It's interesting, your launch is maintained, their peak height's back up, but that mm -hmm. spin is, is PXG territory low. Yep. That sounded good. It really felt good. Really felt good. A bit tuggy, but it, yeah, it not works. Not much though. This thing's just got a kind of bit of a different gear to it. Okay, Fraz, Old Faithful, Strixon ZX5. Just the pick of the bunch, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Just the best, the best looking head for this size of an iron. I just don't think it gets any better. I really yeah. don't. Forged. Oh, it's just everything's perfect about it. When we talked earlier about easy to bend, mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is the easiest one to bend for sure. Yeah. Um, I mean, you know, people have, I'm sure, have heard of Endo Forging and they make their own brand of irons that are double the price of what these are and you're getting the same quality of forging for cheaper. I mean, Strixon's really hit it out of the park with these irons. They definitely have. And the shape, although I always say I have a, I have a problem with the shape of the ZX7 because that top line for the size of iron that I, in my mind it should be, it should be smaller, it should yeah, be a yeah. little bit thinner. Like... This is this is perfect. It's one of the, I think it's one of the okay. best shapes that you could make. I just would, you know, to go back on moaning about that ZX7, so some of the instructions might listen. Uh, I just think that you know this is perfect, and the ZX7 should be this size, but 25 percent smaller. Right, would be would be perfect. It felt pretty good. Mm. Sounded good. 
a uh, pretty decent fraction in the heel. It's close. The one thing I love about this iron, Mike, you look at that one, so you get the slight pull. Mm -hmm. Look at the spin. Yeah. Left yeah. with spin. Yeah. Some of the other ones went left and went at 4,600 spin. Yeah, hot metal, that spin dropped a lot. PXG spin Danger. dropped a lot. Danger zone. Um, yeah, that's nice to see. Same with T350. It looks like you're just pitching these in there, yeah. covering the number. High, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, it feels like we've made a little departure from what we, where we were there. This yeah. is a really square top line. What was the first one we had? T300, that T was pretty big in T the top yeah, line. Yeah, T350. 350, like sorry, yeah. PXG, Hot Metal Pro. Yeah. Strix on now into Paradigm. Okay. Yeah, this is a, this is chunky on top and yeah. very squat toe to heel. Yeah. Different. Good though. That seems like it stayed in the air forever, did it? No oh? kidding, flew the flag. Tell you what, that was probably the best flight of maybe any of them. It kind of just had that lovely, yeah. you know, straight start line and just fell subtly right. I didn't hit that one quite as good. It's a little bit thin, but I'll tell you what, a good flight. Yeah, not really moving hard left or hard right on you whatsoever. Decent amount of spin. Yeah, Low fives. Right. Set of these. My old make man it, plays these. It, I could get a set. Make it two sets. Along side him. Oh. Makes me question a lot of things in my life, Michael. And we do these tests and you hit an iron like this and it's just it's so easy why, to hit it that Why are good. we not using an iron set like this? <sighs> Tell me about it. The easiest four shots I've ever hit in my life. Right, Michael, last but not least. Yeah, P790. Yeah, it, it's, we sell a lot of P790. Our fitters do really well with it. It's, um, Lots of people still come in and ask for oh, this specifically. Yeah. It's, I mean, would the P790, would all of the irons go under as like a cult iron in the golf industry? Yeah. For but, sure. Just think that from like a shelf appeal, it's just like so good. I don't know if, I, don't know if I, an iron of its kind sits as well, as clean on the shelf as yeah, that yeah, does. Yeah, good point. I, I just think it, they've, they've absolutely smashed it. And it, and it performs. It yeah. really does perform. Let's see how it stacks up against the others. Yeah, nice, nice and easy. Just in our favorite back right corner. Too Just long. caught a piece. Pretty good, very similar to that PXG. Mm -hmm. Nice and neutral. Yep. Okay, Mikey boy, six iron heads that, in all honesty, were a treat. Yeah, all of They're them a were treat good. To hit. Yeah. They really were. Every single one of them had, at some point, I went, oh, that's nice. Yeah. You know, nothing about any of them uh, would I really have a complaint about. Um, let's go top to bottom in terms of the listed order, obviously mm -hmm. not the order we hit them. The most enjoyable uh, set was the Paradigm. Yeah, those look so easy. It was the easiest. Easiest kind of 190 shot I've ever had in my life. Yeah. 129 ball, 17 launch, 4800, great standard deviation. What is there not to like? Yep. Let's just take these others out because we'll just look at them all in the own minute. I mean, look at that. So good. Four shots in a row. So One, good. two, three, four. Yeah, yeah. Four. Yeah, no, uh, no extra shots. Uh, cannot say enough good things about Paradigm and it is great for us to do these tests and see why our fitters, because I don't hit, I don't hit Paradigm in there day in, day out. Nope. I, you know, I put it in people's hands, but 
for us to get a chance to experience what our clients experience, I think is really, really good. All right, number two, Strixon ZX5. Um, these efficiency sort of ratios are, are something I think to be taken a little bit with a pinch because this, the, the dimensions of the head can cause foresight to read the, right. the speed slightly differently. So that's quite a big delta in speed. I don't think there was as much. So I wouldn't worry too much about that. I'd focus a little bit more on what was a very mm -hmm. similar ball speed. But the big difference here was a little bit more launch and a little bit more spin yep. with the most outrageous standard deviation, 54. And your dispersion Insane. is pretty tight. Really quite good as well. So if you need to err on the, the side of, of some more spin, a softer flight, then obviously Strixon is, is a go-to, no doubt about it. JPX. I turned that one over a little bit. It definitely uh, had more leftward yeah. bias to it, but when you first put it in, it was flying the it was flying the flag right mm. on top of it, but we noticed that spin definitely does you know drop again. Quite or, or more similar to the paradigm in terms mm -hmm. of its uh, its ball flight, but with a slight left bias. Again, nice to hit. You know, the first one I hit was was one of those ones you went, oh how good is that? Yeah, yeah. easy, easy. Uh, PXG at one twenty six point eight. After hit, we started off with. T350, and yeah. after we hit that, we thought, oh, spin's quite down. Mm -hmm. But actually, when you see it relative to JPX and the Paradigm, spin's actually absolutely fine. Yeah, A little bit of a wider standard deviation. You know, tough to say whether mm -hmm. that's... I felt like I hit it pretty good, let's see, in the club. Yeah, I did yeah. that good. Middle. So that's a little bit of a concern on, on that one, that there's a, a, a fluctuation on spin that way. But, you know, all else considered... Great launch, great spin, good speeds, good carry. Yeah. Happy. Um, T350, probably the surprise package in, in a, a bunch of ways with, it had some launch. We know how much tungsten is down mm -hmm. in the bottom in the base of that head. It makes it very easy to launch, but spin kind of really kicked impressive. up as well. Yeah, it's impressive. For uh, what we'd call that, that little bit of a distance iron, the mm -hmm. loft's definitely stronger. For it to be 5,400 spin at that speed, it's yeah. it's really impressive. An iron that I think, guys, for anyone who's thinking combo, even triple combo, T150, T200, and T350, without having to really manage different models from a spin perspective, these are absolutely primed to yeah, be comboed. Yeah, 100%. Really, really good stuff. And last but not least, the old... It'll go. Yeah. P790. Held its own. Held its own. Good speed. I mean, standard deviation's a joke. Basically just done the same thing three times, four <laughs> times in a row. Great uh, distance. Uh, I think the dispersion on it was pretty decent. It, a little I, wider than Paradigm, but... Had a little uh, bit of a miss either way. Yeah, if we throw Paradigm in there with it. <laughs> yeah. Slightly, slightly smaller, but... Are we calling a winner? Is it is you know because there's different thing, there's different ways to to call out these in terms of a winner. There's 350 that obviously was mm -hmm. soft in flight, which I think a lot of people will like. There's paradigm, which is just simply ease of use. Yeah, I mean, right? watching you hit paradigm was the, literally the easiest four easiest shots I've ever seen you hit. You'll never have seen me hit, and, and that's the thing. Like if you put 350 and paradigm are the I think the two that we've kind of got excited about so far. Would you take an eight yard loss? No. I don't think so either. No. I don't think so either. So, um, yeah, looking there, one and a half degrees of dynamic, similar, similar deliveries. No, I, I, I don't think you would. Yeah, but I don't think one of, any of these irons could be, could be bad, that's for sure. But no. I think this is what just shows you, you know, go get fit, go try some stuff, trust your fitter. Um, it's all all very good product. It really is. It really is. Yeah, all fitted correctly. And, and here we're obviously using the same shaft, the same specs, same loft lie, you know, grip size, everything. So we are minimizing the variables when we get into this. There are six that everyone should be thinking about when going to 100%. Uh, try an iron like this. What are we calling this handicap range wise? Because I'm so I say I'm a scratch, right? Yeah. I've loved doing that test. Yeah, yeah. Well, so how low can someone go? Scratch? Scratch, yeah, why not? No problem. Why not? I mean, I know a, 
a three handicap that's using paradigm irons right now. He's a Jimmy? senior player, um, and he hits it good. Yeah, he hits it really good. Yeah, so. yeah. No, I, I mean I don't don't have an issue with that. And then how do how far do we go the other way? I mean paradigm could, for that could go. Like, yeah, eighteen. Yeah, I was gonna say fifteen handicap. Fifteen, eighteen. Yeah. So that's guys why we wanted to do this test is from a sort of a, a bit of an all round iron performance perspective. These are six that could be played by just about anyone yeah. and add benefits to their game. Totally. They certainly added, totally. they added improvements to my game. Mm -hmm. There's no doubt about that. Yeah, I mean, literally could think about why am I not playing a set of yeah. iron with more if health. It's, if it's that easy, why is everybody not doing it? Yeah, yeah. good test. Okay, good stuff, guys. Let us know. Um, six iron heads are the six that you would have thought of. Are there any surprises in there for you guys? We'd love to know your thoughts as to you know, what you thought was going to come out on top on there. And like, like always, people will have irons that we should have added into to this test. And, and maybe there'll be some, you know, thoughts as to you know, these irons and maybe not conforming to... These are, these are six that we see in the bay being used Every all day. the time. Yeah. So these are our six. You'll have your six, which is great. And we'd love to know what they are. Definitely. And, you know, we can certainly do further testing. And we'll probably stray either side of this. We'll probably move it to more of the game improvement realm. You know, I would say these are, again, all-rounders, but they're not mm -hmm. just game improvement. Yep. Um, and then we're going to go towards the blade side of things Definitely. as well. Try them all. Okay, guys, we are uh, getting through the best of series. We're trying to showcase the best product of 2023. We've done some forgiven drivers. We've mm -hmm. done some ball speed kings. The best all-round performance irons that we have here at, in our stores. There's a few more tests still to be done. 100%. Love to add a ball test, mm. a comprehensive ball test I into like that it. as well, Mikey boy. All right, guys, stay tuned for more. We'll see you again soon.